Welcome back everyone, Darren from PebGAC here. I'm hoping you come to this video because you've got an area similar to these, where you now have a pesky Win32 bridge server error and you want to get rid of it. If so, stick around, I'll explain what it is, why it happens and what you can do to get rid of it. Like a lot of my videos, I was inspired to make this one by a post over on the r slash tech support subreddit. This time a post by Cyclonic Steak, who said, I get this error every startup. Win32.bridge.server. As the title states, I get this only on startup. Nothing seems to be operating weirdly, but I'm concerned there is an underlying cause. And he has thankfully included a screenshot, which is very useful. A lot of people don't think to put a screenshot in there, but it does help anyone who's trying to help you. Um... But what is it? Why? Why are you getting it? And what is it? So the Win32 bridge server is part of the Cortana application. If you're not sure what Cortana is, it's Microsoft's answer to Siri, OK Google, or the Alexa digital assistants. Uh, it was introduced with Windows Phone in around 2014. Rip Windows Phone. Uh, since then, it's been heavily pushed by Microsoft and is now thoroughly baked into Windows 10. However, much like Windows Phone, no one really uses it. No one wants it, and frankly, Microsoft, it's probably time to give up on it. But the question remains, why have you started getting it, and what can you do? Well, like most IT problems, the reason as to why you've got it could be any one of a hundred reasons. Your problem is with Windows, you have the Windows installation itself, you have hundreds, if not thousands, of third-party applications installed alongside it, along with hardware drivers, third-party hardware, and it's very simple for one of those items to be faulty or to clash with another one of those items and cause these sorts of problems. Most likely, however, it's due to a corrupt system file, a clash with another application like iTunes, or you may have got it following a uh, blue screen of death system crash. So let's have a look at what you can do to fix it. And thankfully with this one, there are actually a number of options. So option one is to just get rid of it. If you don't use Cortana, you have no plans to use Cortana, which, let's face it, is 99% of the people out there, you can just tell Cortana to GTFO. Do this is very simple. Click Simply click on the Windows icon down there in the bottom left. Type in Cortana, and then click on the app settings. When it comes up, Scroll down till you find Runs at Login and simply tick it off. Really quickly, really simple, just switch it off in there. There is one more thing to do. Right click in on your taskbar anywhere at the bottom and choose Task Manager. Now go to the Startup tab uh, and open the list of startup items. Find Cortana and you should see it's already disabled if you've done this option. If it's enabled, then just right click and choose disable. Once you're done, give Windows a quick restart and make sure the issue's gone. However, it's worth noting at this stage that Microsoft does like to re-enable things without your permission from time to time when you run Windows Update. Thanks, Microsoft. Uh, so you may want to actually troubleshoot this further and take it through some of the other steps that we're going to run through. So your second option. Let's actually try repair Cortana. Again, another simple option. Um, one of the main reasons you get this Win32 bridge server error is because Cortana itself has become corrupt. So you can run a very quick process to reset it. So again, we're going to click the Windows logo down in the bottom left here. I'm going to click on the little gear icon, which is actually settings. We're then going to go into apps. We're going to make sure we're in apps and features. I want to scroll down till we find Cortana. Click on it and choose advanced options. Scroll down in this window here and you'll have two options. You've got reset and repair. Start with reset. Click it. Reset it. Wait for it to finish. You get a little check mark. Give your computer a restart. Hopefully that resolves your issue. If it doesn't, repeat the process again. Go into repair. Wait for that to finish. It should run through very quickly as you've seen there on my screen. 
after you restart, give wi- uh, sorry, you repair, give Windows a quick restart, and your issue should be gone. But don't go yet. Make sure you click those like and subscribe buttons. I do have a family to feed. Well, a cat, at least. If this didn't fix your issue, then let's move on to option three. Let's check for any other file system corruption. So, if something other than Cortana has got corrupt on your system, I was going to say Crotana then, and Win32 bridge server message may just be a symptom of other corruption within your system. There is something you can do to essentially run a check on all your Windows core system files, make sure they're exactly as they should be, repair them automatically, and should resolve any corruptions you have. Reasonably simple to do, it can take a little while to run through, and all we're going to do is, once again, click on the Windows logo, type in the letters CMD, or Charlie Michael Delta, look for Command Prompt, and choose the option to Run as Administrator. If you don't have it over here on the right, you can right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. Click Yes to the User Account Control, and you'll end up in what is known as the Command Prompt. From here, we're going to run the System File Checker, and to do that, we're going to write... SFC for a system file checker and then a forward slash which is the one under your question mark on your keyboard and in uppercase type S-C-A-N-N-O-W or scan now. Once you've got that just press enter and you'll see a message saying beginning system scan and this process may take some time. Now I'm not going to make you sit and run through all this, I'm pretty sure my system's okay, but let it run through, let it repair any files, any issues it comes up against, and it will attempt to fix them on its own. I'm just going to cancel it off. Which you can do, by the way, by pressing Ctrl and C together on your keyboard if you want to. Once it's complete, restart your computer again and see if your problem is gone. But wait, don't leave yet. Click the like and subscribe. Do, do you know what? So I don't have to com- keep repeating myself. Why don't you just go ahead and click those like and subscribes and show this channel a little love. It really would mean the world to me. So, if repairing Cortana didn't work and System File Checker didn't work, you're not completely out of options yet. We can use something called the Deployment Image Service and Management, or DISM for short. It's another tool that will check your Windows installation or your image for an error and try to repair them. Before you start this one, it is worth noting that this genuinely can take anywhere from 20 minutes up to a good few hours, four, five, six hours, depending on speed of computer and the size of your Windows install. So again, we're going to go into the command prompt as administrator. So click start, type CMD, choose run as administrator, or right click and run as administrator. Yes to the user account control. And in here, we're going to now type, and don't worry, I will put copies of these commands down below, but we're going to type D-I-S-M forward slash online with a capital O space forward slash cleanup or cleanup hyphen image another space forward slash restore health with a capital R and a capital, capital H. Once you're done, you can press enter on that and what you'll see is the deployment image service and your management tool begin running. Once again, this is going to take a very long time to run through. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it. I'm going to cancel mine off if I can and it will let me. It certainly did my testing. Come on, end it for me. Okay, I'm just going to kill it that way. That'll take a while to run through, Windows will restart again, and hopefully your issue is gone. No? Okay, we do have one last thing to try, and that is to nuke Cortana from orbit. Uh, More importantly, we're going to nuke something called the Connected Device Platform. Now, please note, this step is a little bit more drastic and should only be done if you are completely out of options. What we're going to do is, as I say, we're going to disable something called the Connected Device Platform, This is a core part of Windows that synchronizes your data between things like your Windows Calendar, your Windows Mail, OneDrive, and your Windows Contacts. So if you don't use any of those, you should be okay to disable this. To do what we're about to do, we're going to use something called a registry editor and warning. It's worth taking note here, the Windows registry editor, when used incorrectly, can completely destroy your system. So please 
Use it with caution and only use it if you're 100% sure you know what you're doing or following an awesome guide like this one. So, what we're going to do is, once again, click on the Windows logo, type R-E-G-E-D-I-T or Reg Edit. Choose the Windows Registry Editor, click Yes to the User Account Control and bring it over so you can see what you're doing. I'm going to just go straight to the top so you can see where I'm going. So once you're in the registry editor, you should be at this screen. If you've ever been into it before, it'll do like mine just did. It'll take you straight back to wherever you last browsed it. But what you need to do is look for HK Local Machine and expand that. Expand System. Expand Current Control Set. Which I've just lost again. There, Current Control Set. Scroll down. Uh, sorry, then you're going to expand Services. And you're going to scroll down and look for the CDP user SVC. Now there are a couple more of these, the CDP SVC and the CDP user service with some random numbers after it. Make sure you're getting the right one. It's the one without any numbers and the one that does say user in here. Once you've clicked on here, what I'm going to advise you to do is first take a backup of the registry. Always wise to do when you're messing about in the registry is to back it up before you change anything. That way you can always revert it if the system isn't completely dead. Backing it up is easy. Just right click on this top level key. Choose export. And give it a, save it somewhere you're going to be able to find it. And give it a file name. Uh, just, in, just in case I F it up. And save it to your desktop. So you can see that file there on my desktop just in case. And what we're going to do is over on the right hand pane here is find this uh, value start. I'm going to double click it and it should have a value of 2. We're going to change that to number 4. 4 is essentially the system code for disabling this service. Now if you do find you have messed something up and you want to put it back, you changed the wrong key, you deleted the key, you did something you shouldn't have done and you want to restore that backup, all you've got to do is double click that, choose yes, choose yes again and click OK and you'll see it's restored that value back to number 2 as it was before we changed anything but for the purposes of this you want it set to 4 and that's it now restart the computer and you should all be good if it did help again I'd love a comment down below I'd love a like and subscribe if you can comment as well just let us know which of the solutions helped and solve the issue for you then it'll help others uh, again do consider liking and subscribing. My cat is massively hungry and I don't like the way he's starting to look at me. If, however, none of these solutions help, then you can leave a comment down below, send me a message on Twitter, or Brave the Barren Wastelands on my Discord, and I'll try to help if I can. There are links in the description below to all those things. That's it. Thanks for watching, and try not to break anything else for a while.